Hi friends, hope you are doing great. Today we are going to see this demo modularizing Luke ML code with extends. So in this demo, we are going to see what is what uh, extend a view to add columns from another view. First, we are going to see. Then next, we are going to see extend and explore to add joins from another explore. So these two, we are going to do these things in this demo. So now I'm going to open Looker and I'm copying this username. Entering the username now and I'm going to copy the password and entering the password. Just stay logged in and click login. OK, next we will move on next step. So first we are going to do this extend a view to add columns from another view. First, we need to uh, select toggle to uh, development mode toggle. I'm toggling this development mode. Just click it. And now we need to click develop tab and select the quick. Just click develop and quick labs e-commerce. Just select it. And next we need to click a plus icon next to the file browser. And uh, I'm copying the location. So just see it friends. Just click this plus symbol and click create view. And we need to put this file name location. Click create. So now the location view has been created it successfully and we need to drag it under the views folder. So I'm going to do that step. Just I'm going to click this drop down and just drag it here. So it's not coming just again. I'm doing it. OK, it came now location view. Just click that one and we need to select and delete it. OK, we need to replace this view location. Just copy it and paste it here and uh, next we need to do it so we need to click save changes we need to click save changes it has the location state zip country and uh, latitude longitude okay so we, i am verifying this uh, screenshot and now we are going to open the users.view file just click the users.view file i have opened it and now we need to include this location view we need to add this uh, so just enter in the line number one, just enter it here and line number one, we need to add this include location view and on line three, we need to add this SQL table name. So line three after that, uh, sorry, above the SQL table name, we need to add this extends location. We need to add this extends location. Next, we need to remove the existing dimension de definitions. So city, country, latitude, magnitude and state zip, we need to remove it friends. So I'm removing this city first and I am going to remove some spaces also and I'm removing the dimension country and I'm going to remove uh, next is uh, latitude longitude. So I am removing this dimensions latitude longitude and we need to remove this uh, dimension state. Let me check it friends again. Yes, we need to remove the dimension state. So I'm uh, deleting the spaces and we need to remove this dimension zip. Yes, I have successfully removed uh, those things. Now we have successfully done it. Then we need to click save changes. The next step we need to next to open the event.view file. So left side we need to click that event.view file. So just next open the event.view file. Just click this event.view file. I have op clicked it. Now uh, on the line at the top of the file, line one we need to add the file or the following code so just enter this and include location view okay done it and next we need to for copy this code extends then same thing only friends before the sql uh, table we need to update line number three extends location we have done it now uh, already we have done it right we have removed a uh, few things city state so same thing here also we need to remove the dimension city and we need to remove this uh, dimensions country Yes, country and latitude. So I'm removing this dimension country and I'm removing this some spaces. And now we need to remove this uh, dimension latitude and longitude. So you can see latitude and longitude. Uh, longitude. So I'm removing this. Sorry, I have selected wrongly. Now we need to select correctly. Okay, dimension latitude and longitude. We need to select and remove it. Just delete these spaces also. Then we need to remove this uh, dimension state and uh, we need to remove that uh, next one is 
I think uh, diamonds and zip only so, okay diamonds and zip we need to remove it just delete this uh, spaces also unwanted space and uh, finally we need to click save changes right we need to click save changes our file should resemble like this only so we need to click save changes it's now time to test the extended view okay now navigate to the explore page before that we need to click save changes and now we need to navigate to the explore page for order items so just click it explore and here we need to select this order items and uh, now next step from the users view select the city we from the users view just click it here we need to select the city country latitude longitude city country and uh, next is latitude longitude latitude latitude longitude longitude so longitude then state zip then we need to select the state and we need to select this zip okay i have selected it correctly and finally we need to click run so i am going to click run to see the results loading the data so we can see this uh, user's uh, city country latitude and the uh, user state and user's longitude so like that it will come friends so we can see these things yeah it is coming correctly yes sounds great then i am moving on next step next navigate to the events explore so just click it looker and uh, we need to select from just go to this uh, again we need to click develop and click uh, quick labs e-commerce and uh, next we need to select it from here click it here and we need to select events so events only we need to select events explore okay events just click it now we need to from the events view we need to select the city from the events view we need to select the city first city country we need to select latitude longitude state and zip dimensions we need to select i am selecting city i am selecting country also latitude longitude i have selected it and finally we need to select the state and uh, zip so state here we have and the zip also we have lost zip okay i have selected successfully and we need to click run to see the results so I am going to click run to see the results. So I am clicking run to see the results. It's loading the data. Let's wait for it. So we can see this like that only we will get we will be getting city, country, latitude, uh, longitude, events. We, those are all events only. Event state, event zip. So it is loading. Yeah, it came now, friends. So it looks good only, correct only. Next, we will move on. Next step, navigate back to the event view file in the looker ID. So we have done these steps 19th step we are going to do that so just click it looker again navigate back to that so just click develop and click uh, quick labs e-commerce then we need to select this uh, users sorry view under the view we need to select uh, users view i think i'm sorry events view we need to select sorry for that events view we need to select it navigate back to the events.view file and uh, i'm copying this add a commit message so i'm going to click commit changes and push we need to give the messages whatever message you can give it friends so i am going to give that and click commit now we need to click commit then lastly deploy to production lastly click we need to click the deploy to production just click it yes we have done this we have extended a view to add columns from another view we have successfully done the first part friends i am checking my progress whether we have completed correctly or not let's see yes we have done it correctly now we are going to do this extend and explore to add join from another explore now navigate to the training e-commerce so just click training e-commerce model file and after that order items explore definition around line 43 we need to add uh, that code so i am going to add this uh, create a new base explore called base events using the following code just i'm copying this and i'm going to click it so i'm just referring this screenshot we where we have added it so line number 43 we need to add it friends so if, if you are seeing here it is coming 43 to 55 line number 43 to 55 explore base events we need to add it so what i'm going to do means just enter it to enter just click to enter and paste it this explore base events so we have successfully pasted it now you can refer refer it also friends which we have done it correctly or not we have done yeah correctly then we need to go to the third step from the events explore remove the existing joints for event session fact so we need to remove few things so we have done it correctly first these things and we need to remove this uh, existing joints event session facts and users so i am going to click this screenshot 
okay i'm referring the screenshot so like that we need to do it friends so just we need to do it carefully or else we will be getting the error okay now what we need to do means we are going to remove few things so what we need to remove means first we need to remove this event session facts so i am finding where the event session facts i am selecting this and i am removing this and uh, next one is we need to select uh, i think join users right okay users we need to select and remove it join users so i have removed this one also okay great next we need to do the next step i think we have done it correctly friends so next step under the first line of the events explorer definition we need to add this following code just click it here so we are going to copy that uh, then then we are going i am checking it the screenshot here so we need to add that uh, so what i am going to do means i am going to add that one so i am going to just check it friends again so if you are seeing here it is coming uh, row number 57 right so just enter it here and paste it here description start here for that so don't delete anything just enter it and put the description start here fields from view name extends like that we need to put it so just refer the screenshot also before proceeding yes we have done that final definition to explore after the modified events explore definition add a new explore called conversions using just copy that one and now row number 70 we need to put it friends row number 7070 line number 70 and just enter it two times and uh, line number 70 i'm putting this uh, explore conversation description and uh, now we need to click save changes so now click save changes then our file should resemble uh, the following like this only so training e-commerce model like that only i'm referring it it's correct only now click save changes it is saved now then uh, now it's the time to test our new explore go to the each explore events and conversation and uh, noticed which views are included so i'm going to do these things navigate to the events explore so just click it here go to that uh, events click it events and uh, now i'm going to see these things events contains the view joined in the base uh, these things only we can verify it friends events uh, if i am clicking so review the description by hovering over the info button next to the event so we can see these things also events so here uh, start here for event analysis okay next next navigate to the conversions explore so just click it looker again just click it looker again so same thing uh, we need to click it develop and go to this quick labs e-commerce then we need to go to that uh, uh, explore so just we need to click this explore navigate to the conversation conversions so just click it that uh, explore here drop down and click the conversions just click it friends now it looks like that only conversion and filter visualizations it, it is coming like this only so we can see start here from the uh, that one we can see the description okay now we have done this step 10th step now 11th one review the measures in order items just selected the order items there is uh, there is no that field it is not available actually this uh, total revenue from completed order is not listed so notice that lastly navigate back to the training e-commerce just click the training e-commerce model file so just click the looker again so click it develop and click it uh, quick labs e-commerce so then next is uh, we are in the training e-commerce model file and uh, we need to click uh, commit changes before that i'm going to copy that message so now we need to click uh, commit and uh, commit changes i'm copying this add a commit message so whatever message you can put it so just for training purpose i'm putting this message so just click commit changes and push and we need to update this message and click commit now then finally we need to click lastly deploy to production we need to click deploy to production we have done this uh, demo friends so we have done this extend and explore to add joints from another explore now uh, you can see these things also i'm going to check my progress we have completed correctly or not yes we have done it correctly friends in this demo we created a new view containing location dimension by extending the users and events view created a base explorer that contained joints for multiple views and used extends to reuse and customize the base explorer for multiple teams and users thanks a lot friends have a great day if you are not subscribed my youtube channel you can subscribe my youtube channel so that it will motivate me to upload more videos about the google cloud platform thanks a lot have a great day bye bye